<clears throat> Tumblr needs to be stopped. Based on things I have seen over the past couple of months and especially recently, I think the Tumblr is probably a bigger internet threat to America than WikiLeaks. And it ought to be stopped. And before you go attacking me, of oh, fucking course I'm being hyperbolic, and I mean that facetiously. But. Let me get to the meat and potatoes. I tried to use Tumblr one time. And there are two reasons why I could never do it. One, the website is completely fucking inavigable. I can't figure out how to use the damn thing to save my life. I don't know who posts what. And second of all, the fucking Social Justice League. It's just these egalitarian social Marxist assholes who just run around trying to just doing whatever they can to silence anyone they disagree with and while on the one hand that could be a lot of fun for me if I could figure out how to use the goddamn website it just seems like a lot of stress that I don't need case in fucking point a friend of mine on the Facebooks linked me to this article about, uh, what was her name? Some chick named, uh, Lacey Green, who had a sex education blog. Where she talked about a lot of sex issues and stuff like that, because, uh, and... You know, I say, even if she is a communist, good on her. Because while this may surprise some of you, I am very socially liberal. I, well, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Love is the law, love under will, and all that. This may surprise you, seeing as how I'm, I seem so incredibly conservative in terms of my economic views, but... Well, economically and socially, my opinion on life can be summed up in the phrase, let people do what the fuck they want. So, sex education blog, talking about sex issues, good on her. Apparently, in some three-year-old video, she referred to transsexuals as trannies. Now, I'm not here to talk about transgender politics. I've gone down that rabbit hole before, and I will never do it again. Let me just say that I am not transphobic. One of my very best friends is a transsexual. My ex-girlfriend was a female-to-male transsexual, and I was nothing but supportive of her. But, you know just to get it out there I do I have no idea when it was arbitrarily decided that the word tranny is a slur but anyway some people told her you shouldn't say that that's not a nice word to say and she apologized and took the video down Oh, that wasn't good enough for the Social Justice League. Oh, no. A bunch of these fucking collectivist authoritarian pricks started sending her death threats. And one of them even posted a Google Maps screenshot of the apartment complex she lived in 
while a bunch of fuckers were sending her death threats. Now, first of all, and she went off the, she took a temporary hiatus from the internet and went a little bit underground because of all this. And first of all, if you're sending someone death threats because they say something you disagree with or use a word you don't like, you are a fucking horrible human being. Like, even if she was using tranny in a disparaging way, freedom of speech means the freedom to be a dick. And if you're silencing speech that you disagree with, then what's to stop others from doing the same to you? You fucking pricks. But here's what else I have to say. I get death threats all the fucking time. If I went underground every time someone sent me a death threat, I'd be so underground that not even hipsters would know who I am. And if you don't believe me, I have a whole bunch of screenshots of said death threats that I will be more than happy to link to you because when I get them I take screenshots of them and I post them on Facebook so me and my friends can laugh at them and while most of these death threats are well silly occasionally there are a couple that make me well, they make the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. But you know what? I'm still here. I'm still doing what I'm doing. So you know what I do about these death threats? I know I can hold my own in a fight. I have a variety of weapons in the house back there. As soon as I get another job, I'm buying a handgun. As soon as I have my own house, I'm going to bring my I'm going to go to my parents' house and get my dog and bring it down here cuz I love that dog. He's the best dog in the whole world. But anyway, if you're out there espousing unpopular views, no matter what side you're on. I don't care if you're a liberal or a conservative or a Marxist or a white nationalist Nazi motherfucker. Free, you have freedom of speech and you should never give up. Keep doing what you're doing. Do not give in to fear. Because if you give in to fear, you know what you're doing? You're letting the terrorists win. Because that's what these people are. They're terrorists. If you use fear and violence or the threat thereof in order to achieve some asinine political point, you fit the definition of a terrorist. And from that whole tribal communist heathen Odinsman I don't care if I live or die perspective maybe some of these death threats are genuine and maybe one of these days a haji is gonna come to my house and kill me you know what that'll make me that'll make me a martyr to free speech and I'd be happy with that death so do not go underground do not give up be brave be strong. Because, as Mr. Miyagi says, win, lose, no matter. You give good fight. Unrespect. And my advice to Miss, uh, 
Lacey Green is don't go underground. Adopt a dog and buy a gun. Link to the article in the Good Time Bar. Peace out, Hail Satan, Shimham for